In this video, I'm going to show you guys the best method to get max diamonds in Pet Simulator X. So inside the brand new update, they went ahead and re-added the fruits back into the game. And I'm not gonna lie, they are extremely overpowered. You guys will see it later in the video, but you pretty much can get hundreds of billions of gems. So make sure to watch the entire video to see how. So yeah, let's get into it right now. So yeah, pretty much the first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and farm up the fruit inside of the areas. And depending on how long you want to grind for, the more fruit you get, the more diamonds you will actually receive. And the best fruit, obviously, is the rainbow fruit right here because it gives one of every single multiplier. But yeah, depending on how long you want to grind for, the max fruit cap is 200. So you can farm as much as you want up to 200, although I honestly wouldn't recommend going past 100 because at that point the multiplier barely goes up and you, you have to farm a lot as well. And also I suggest you guys don't get the pineapples because they nerfed it so now they only give XP. So unless you guys are trying to rank up, it's basically useless. The main fruit you want to collect are the oranges because they give a more diamond multiplier. But yeah, if you guys are specifically only trying to grind the diamond area, the only fruits you want to get are the orange and the apple fruit. Because the apple also does damage as well, so it's pretty helpful to get. But yeah, right now I'm sitting at 53 fruit, which isn't that much, but it is enough for now. So they pretty much buff the diamond mine now, so it's even better than before. And yeah, not gonna lie, there's so many things you can add on to get even more diamonds, it's actually pretty crazy. So yeah, first thing is obviously having the 2 times diamonds event, which I'm pretty sure everybody has. The next thing you want to make sure you have is the fruit, obviously. And then the next thing is also the masteries. Because they added the brand new diamond mine masteries. You can see I'm already at level 26, which isn't that bad. But yeah, having a max diamond mastery will give you so many more diamonds is pretty crazy. And then also finding the diamond multiplied chest. As you can see, this one has 25 times diamonds. And let's see how many gems we're going to get from breaking this one singular chest. And here we go. We're getting 130 million, 200 million, 300 million, 165 million from one single chest. Yeah, that literally only took a couple seconds. And yeah, that's actually pretty crazy, not going to lie. So yeah, if you couldn't tell already, they buffed this diamond area significantly. I wasn't recording earlier because I was just testing to see how good the diamond mine was and I literally got like 50 billion diamonds in less than one hour. So yeah, 50 billion is a lot of gems you can get in one hour and this is actually just so overpowered. If you were to grind overnight, you would get somewhere around 400 billion gems. And yeah, that number just from grinding diamonds is actually just absurd. As you can see right here, I think this is a 100 times present. Let's see how many gems we're going to get from this. And yeah, it literally broke instantly. And we got 225 million gems. So yeah, I'm not sure if they're going to keep the diamond mine this overpowered. But if they do, the values of everything is going to go down a ton. See, honestly, I suggest you guys don't sell your huge pets right now. Just because so many more diamonds are coming into circulation... Well, honestly, I think you're better off just waiting a little bit to see if the updated values if some pets change or not. But yeah, this diamond mine is extremely overpowered. And also, if you guys have an auto clicker, you're able to set your mouse right here and then basically spin around and you'll be able to hit every single item in the diamond mine, which is actually crazy. See, I'm pretty sure this method is actually better than just farming the chest because the chest only spawns once every 10 minutes. And yeah, these things here respawn instantly, so you'll be able to instantly remind them, which is so helpful. But yeah, right now, as you can see on the right, I'm at 2 trillion and 75 billion diamonds. So I'm gonna go in and farm overnight, and we'll see how many gems I can get in one single night. This, uh, this might be pretty overpowered, not gonna lie. See, I'll be back in a second, and, uh, we'll see how many gems we get. Five minutes later. Alright, boys, we are back, and after one night of grinding, I have made over 70 billion gems. See, I could have made a lot more if I had more fruit. Obviously, since I didn't have that much, it, uh, it didn't last very long. But yeah, I'm assuming if you guys had fruits to last for the whole night, you would get way more gems. You'd probably get around twice as many gems, but also at the same time, it would take a pretty long time to grind up all the fruit. But yeah, in my opinion, I still think it is definitely worth it. I also got my Diamond Mine Mastery all the way up to level 41, as you can see, which is pretty good. I also unlocked the second perk already for grinding the Diamond Mines, that's pretty good. But yeah, once you're able to max this out, it'll be so overpowered and you'll be able to get so many more diamonds. And also a lot of you guys probably have realized, but there's already a 2 times diamonds event going on for everyone. And I'm not sure if it's just for this update or if it's going to happen every single weekend now, I have no clue. 
But yeah, nonetheless, it's still pretty cool and will definitely help out pretty much everyone when it comes to grinding diamonds. But yeah, if you guys saw the last video, I was trying to complete a lot of the quests. And currently right now, I'm up to 2,680 points, which isn't that bad. However, you still need so many points to even be able to get plus one pet slot. But yeah, I've pretty much been going through every quest board doing the easier quests and uh, not really doing the harder quests. But yeah, some of these quests are extremely difficult. As you can see, this bottom one is Dark Matter 30 Shiny Pets. So you basically have to hatch a ton of shiny pets to even be able to complete this quest, so it's pretty difficult. We have completed almost all the easier quests. As you can see, I still have some easy ones like hatch 3,000 flower doodle eggs. Yeah, like the one under it break 3,000 coins. That's honestly just crazy. Like, yeah, there's a lot of coins here, but grinding 3,000 will still take a very long time. And I'm not gonna lie, this might be one of the most crazy quests we have so far. This one inside the doodle world, it says successfully rainbow 750 doodle sloths. So yeah, the doodle sloth is the rarest pet inside this mushroom doodle egg. And it's actually extremely difficult to even hatch one as a golden. So you yeah, having to get 750 of these in rainbow is pretty crazy. In my opinion, this is probably the hardest quest out of every single quest in the game. Yeah, for some reason, it still says I have not used the huge machine at all in this quest board. So maybe you have to completely use it for free and not spend any Robux. So let me go ahead and try that. Hopefully I have enough points. I'm not sure if I will. So yeah, definitely not gonna have enough points to be able to get a free machine egg. But yeah, like always, let me go and check the mailbox before I end off the video. This first person said, yo, I love your vids. Can I please have a free huge pet? So yeah, since I made so much gems, I'm gonna go ahead and purchase a huge pet in the trade plaza after I receive all these gifts. So yeah, thank you for the safari cat. I appreciate it. And this next person sent me like four gifts. So thank you for the three party dogs and the safari cat. And this last person said, hi, can you please add me in Roblox? Blocks. See, I don't really add anybody. I'm sorry, bro, but uh, thank you for the safari cat. I appreciate it. But yeah, let me go and find a huge pair or two to purchase and give out for you guys. I just realized this, but someone's actually selling the quest egg for three billion. Let me go and buy that real quick. I've actually never used any of my points because I'm saving them up to try and get an extra pet slot, but now I have a quest egg. So yeah, you know what? Let me go and open it and let's see what we get. The chances are pretty rare to get a huge pet, but I guess we can test our luck. And we got nothing. All right. But yeah, it's also kind of interesting that it says quest egg number one. So I'm assuming in the future, there's going to be even more quest eggs that you can do. All right, I guess I'm going to go ahead and purchase this huge chef can. I'll give it to one of you guys in the comments down below. So there we go. So yeah, just comment your Roblox username down below and uh, one of you guys will uh, receive this huge chef cat. But yeah, that pretty much is everything for the video. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below about the quests and also the diamond mine. Do you guys think it's actually very helpful now? Because I think it's pretty helpful, not gonna lie. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel because we're on the road to 100k subs and I appreciate if you subscribe. And yeah, thank you boys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.